Hi Keith, yeah, you know, honestly, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about this, but I can tell you this. This attachment page isn't a page you can edit. It's something that's actually generated or created through WordPress itself. It takes its own thing, and all it's intended to do is display a larger version of your image, right? Because it's actually basically taken uh, the default template page and plopped the image inside, and that's it. Um, and there's nothing you can do, actually, to uh, really tweak this, because uh, um, what I suggest you do in these situations is don't use the attachment page because it, if you actually go to let me just click that so you go into your media library right so your, your media library here's all the pictures let's say we go sky at night right and here's all the attachment details you can edit the image and whatnot and here's the url for the where the pictures actually located and then there's view attachment page okay and all that means is WordPress is going to create a template type page and it's going to put the image inside. Unfortunately, WordPress doesn't give you the ability to actually uh, um, edit that page. What it does is it just takes the, uh, the default blog page and pops the image inside. So I would not use the view attached. If you're going to have any sort of text or caption, um, I don't even know if you can do that. Um, you can put caption right here okay for your image if you want that to show up but uh, don't select a view attachment page that's the only thing I can really suggest is go into your go into your media library open up each the individual images from your gallery and then make sure you have a caption alt text and description set for each picture try it with one to uh, to start with and it says uploaded to home I'm not sure what that means, but uh, sorry, it probably means where it's attached to. Yeah, okay, it just means where it's been uh, inserted into. Yeah, so all I can really suggest, like I said, you may have to Google this one because I'm not really an expert on this stuff, but I, I what I do know about this new gallery is um, the attached page just creates a generic template page. What you really need to do is is put a caption in for each of your pictures, an alt and a description, um, and... Uh, and don't set it in the gallery, don't set it as uh, attachment page, use the other option.